crap. Hey guys, it's Winsight Scizor here. Welcome back to another episode, not of Battle Spot, but to an episode of 6v6 versus Shiny Hunter 1001. I apologize for starting off that video extremely weird. I messed up my camera angle, but yep, let's just get this battle started. I am bringing some new stuff that I got genned by Z Superfire 5 or Pokebank OU. Huge shout out to him. I'll be leaving, probably, I'll most likely leave his channel link in the description, but let's get this battle started. I battled him a couple times, and every time I battled Shiny 1001, I always get crit when it matters the most, so let's hope that doesn't happen this time. He's bringing Ferrothorn, Porygon 2, I know for a fact I think it's Shiny, so you guys love to see that. Tangrowth, Metacham, Crawdon, and Arcanine. Crawdon scares me the most, I need to get my 3DS stylus and I don't have it, crap. Oh well. I'm going to lead off with my Star Raptor. Yeah. I'll lead off with my Star Raptor and I'll pick the rest of my mons. I'm using Star Raptor, Sylveon, Gardevoir, Manectric, Conkeldur, and Mamoswine. Um, I think two of two sixths of my team were genned by Season of Fire 5, but. They only needed like one move or a certain HP move. No, my Star Raptor, my Conkeldur, and my Manectric, so half my team. My Manectric needed HP Ice, my Conkeldur needed a knockoff, and my Star Raptor, it was just easier to get it with Reckless by genning it. So let's get this battle started. I have a feeling he's kind of gonna lead off. Oh, I didn't take a picture of his team. Crap. So I'm gonna lead off with my Star Raptor, and he's gonna lead off with Feral Thorn. I'm not gonna Brave Bird. I am Choice Banded, but I'm not gonna Brave Bird. I'm gonna U-turn because I'm not staying in because Stealth Rocks and, or T-Wave are kind of obvious. So I'm gonna U-turn out. That was a banded U-turn, so to a Ferrothorn that technically did a lot of damage. I'm kind of predicting either Stealth Rocks or T-Wave, so I'm gonna send out my Mega Manectric. This thing, this Manectric is a beast, like honestly. So I'm gonna throw out my Mega Manectric. He does Stealth Rock. I kind of predicted that more than T-Wave, because it was a bit more obvious. <clears throat> so, I kind of want to protect right here and see what he wants to switch into. So I'm going to Mega Evolve and go for the Protect. I don't think he's going to stay in, because, you know, it's a Mega Manectric and it obviously has Flamethrower. So he could just, like, very easily switch into something that can either resist or kind of just wing off Flamethrower. So he does withdraw, it's a good play for me to go for Protect. He goes into Porygon 2, ugh. Conkeldur's gonna be needed right here. So I am gonna Mega Evolve. He does trace my Lightning Rod, which really doesn't matter. <clears throat> so I'm gonna Mega Evolve with my Mega Manectric, with the shiny Mega Manectric. This thing is like the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. So I get my Intimidate off, which matters 0%. And I get off the Protect just to see what he wants to do. So it's a good thing I didn't Thunderbolt at least. And I'm going to switch into my Conkeldur right here, actually. He's probably going to Ice Beam or something. That's about all I see him doing is Ice Beam. I believe he put on Ice Beam, at least. So I'm going to switch out my Manectric and go into my Conkeldur. I'm knocking off this thing's Eviolite immediately. So Conkeldur's here to not screw around. Conkeldur is so good. Try attack Okay, that's what I expected him more to do. I'm kind of hoping for him to burn me. Okay, so nothing happened. I'm going to go for the knockoff. It's obvious that he's going to switch out, but I'm still going to hit him up with knockoff. He's going to protect. Okay. I still need to knock off the Eviolite, so I'm going to go for it again. I can't let this thing keep the Eviolite. Or else it just kind of stalls the rest of my team. So I'm going to go for another knockoff. Hopefully... This can work. I kind of predicted him to switch out. I don't know what he's going to go into. He goes into Ferrothorn. I'm still going to knock off the leftovers he has on this thing. So I'm going to hit this thing with knockoff. That actually does a bunch of damage. Oh my god, Ferroth not Ferrothorn. Conkeldur. Conkeldur's too good. I knocked off the leftovers. And I'm actually going to go for Drain Punch right here. Seeing that the knockoff did that much, Drain Punch should do a ton of damage. The Ferrothorn goes down to the Drain Punch. So that's nice to see. Conkeldur gets back a bit of HP, loses a bit of it to the Iron Barbs, but that doesn't batter too much, batter? Matter too much to me. 
I can't talk, dude. Every time I try to record, everything just goes wrong. <laughs> but yeah, that's one down on his side. He's probably going to send an Arcanine right here, just to get the Intimidate. <laughs> Which, if he does, it wouldn't bug me too much. Angry Gandhi, that's going to be Metacham. Psychic-type move is kind of obvious, but... I think I'm going to switch into Sylveon. You really want to switch into Sylveon or Manectric, but... Mm. I'm actually going to switch into Sylveon. Sylveon's kind of my best player right here, because my Sylveon is uh, extreme defensive. This is a really bad angle. Can I fix that? No, I can't. Oh, well. Actually, I might if I move this forward. Yeah, it's a lot better. Okay. So now that I don't have to worry about the... Well, actually, I do have to worry about it. That should work. Yeah, that works. So he's going to Mega Evolve, of course. So there's the Mega Manectric... Mega Metacham. There we go. I can talk. Let me word. That does a lot of damage, which is really scary. So he's going to go for another one of those for sure. So I'm going to Protect, actually. Get a bit of Leftovers Recovery, and then I'm going to switch into Manectric, I guess. As bad a play as that might be. He's going to Bullet Punch. Okay, so if he's going to Bullet Punch, I am going to switch out into Manectric. So, switching out into Manectric. Just to get that Intimidate off. So, the Bullet Punch, one, will do nothing. Two, I can just hit him up with a lot of damage. So, here's my Manectric. Take a bit of Stealth Rock damage, but I'm going to get the Intimidate off, which is totally worth it in my opinion. Get his attack dropped, and he's going to Bullet Punch and deal, like, nothing. Even a high jump kick can barely do anything now, but I'm going to switch back out into Sylveon. That way, I know he'll try to high jump kick me. So I can switch into Sylveon, eat up the hit. He might Psycho Cut, but I feel like he's going to go for high jump kick more because he's at a lower attack stat. So I'm going to switch into Sylveon because it can eat up a hit really well. So I'm going to switch into Sylveon. Did he go for Psycho Cut, or did he go for High Jump Kick? He withdraws, so I kind of... I didn't really predict that too much, but it was kind of obvious. So he goes into Tangrowth. I can get off Toxic right here, so I'm going to do that. Toxic is a big priority. So I will be Toxicking this thing, because I know that it's Assault Vest. I don't like that too much. I don't think it's really too, like good, but I'm going to use Toxic and get Toxic off on this thing. I don't see this thing doing much. Maybe Power Whip? Giga Drain? I don't know. Knock Off? That's going to do nothing. I don't really care if my Sylveon loses its leftovers. I don't really plan on using this thing too much. The only thing I plan on using this thing for now is Wish Protect. So I'm going to set up a Wish right here, actually. So I'm going to set up the Wish. He might go for a Poison-type move, but I don't really care if he does. He goes for Earthquake. I'm pr I take this so well, honestly. Because I am a Sylveon and I'm max defense. Max HP. Bold nature. So, I have nothing to really switch in for a Wish Protect, so I'm obviously just going to go for a Protect right here. I don't think he'll predict that. Okay, so he did predict that. I could have Moon Blasted. He's going to send in Angry Gandhi, of course. He's going to Psycho Cut. So I am going to protect, but it is going to fail. I knew I should have Moon Blasted, but I didn't want to take a risk. Because my Sylveon's on, like, no HP. I could switch into Gardevoir, but that's a really risky play. Uh, I'm going to protect and see what he wants to do. I feel like he's going to Psycho Cut. He's going to Bullet Punch. So right now, he's probably predicting me to go into Manectric, but I'm actually still going to go into it. He just keeps going for Bullet Punch. I would have won for Psycho Cut so many times by now. Now, he's probably predicting me to go into Manectric right now, but I'm still going to go into it. I need to get off Intimidates on this thing. So I am going to withdraw Sylveon and go into my Manectric. So let's see what I can do with this thing right now. I take a lot more Stealth Rock damage, and I'm going to get the Intimidate off, lower this... Metacham's attack stat down again. He's gonna Ice Punch. That won't deal too much. I didn't get frozen either, so that's nice to see. 
I almost want a Thunderbolt, which I think I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna protect. He's just gonna probably pull a punch. So I'm gonna protect. And he went for Bullet Punch. Bullet Punch, I think, can kill from this range. If he wants to Bullet Punch, I don't have a safe switch in at all. So I think I can take just one. I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. So he's gonna go for the Bullet Punch. So I can take just one unless that was a high damage roll. So I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt. And that does a crap ton of damage. Oh my god, Mega Man Neck Trick, you're so good. I feel like he's gonna switch out again. But if he's gonna go for Bullet Punch, I kinda wanna go into Conkelder. I don't know, let's just protect. Be the wuss and do that. So I'm gonna go for the protect right here. He does withdraw, so I knew I should have just flamethrowered. He's probably gonna go into Tangrowth. Crawled on. Oh my god, if I had Thunderbolted. If I had Thunderbolted. If I had Thunderbolted. Oh my god. Um, I see a water type move coming my way. Actually, I'm just gonna go for Thunderbolt because he might start setting up. Oh, I outspeed. Okay, never mind, you're dead. Unless your focus sashed. Uh, which you are sashed, but I can come in and kill you with a mock punch from my Conkelder. You are gonna Dragon Dance. That might kill me actually so I'm gonna Thunderbolt again just cuz he does Aqua Jet of course I'm dead so Mega Manectric sadly goes down mm. I'm gonna go into Conkelder problem here I don't know if I can take a plus one adaptability Aqua Jet from a Crawdont I feel like I can, but I'm going to go for Mach Punch. Okay, I outspeeded the Mach Punch and I do kill his Crawdont. So the Crawdont goes down. I don't know why he didn't go for Aqua Jet. It's kind of weird. I really would have went for Aqua Jet right there. He probably could have came close to killing me. Okay, Psycho Cut is obvious right here. But can I switch anything in on it? Not really. I don't have my Manectric anymore. That's a big problem. I really don't want to lose my Conkelder either, and I don't think Mach Punch can kill. Mach Punch definitely doesn't kill at that. I hate Mega Metacham. I can't come in on Gardevoir either. Uh, I'm just gonna Mach Punch and hope for a kill. Hopefully this does kill. Which it doesn't, so Conkelder does go down. I had no choice but to stay in right there because nothing else can take a hit. So Conkelder goes down. That's really bad. Because now I can't knock off the Porygon 2 Zebulite. So my Mammal Swine does have priority, but he can go for... I have a huge Steel-type weakness on this team. I'm just going to have to go into Mammal Swine. I think I can take one hit. I didn't think I've had this much of a steel type weakness because steel type is an uncommon type. So I'm gonna ice ice shard and kill off the Mega Metacham. Thankfully. Actually, I can come in and toxic stall the Porygon too if I have to, even if it has recover. I really should have taken a picture of his team. He withdraws. He's gonna go into something bulky. Probably Porygon too. Nope. He goes into his Arcanine, so I really wish I had um, Earthquake, not Ice Sharded. I don't really care if I take a hit right here. So this is obviously his defensive Arcanine. Can't really do much to me. I'm going to set up my Stealth Rock. I think he said his only attacking move is Extreme Speeds, and I can live one hit through Thick Fat. So he's going to Will-O-Wisp. Doesn't bug me, honestly. It bugs me a bit, because now I can't really kill off the Mega Metacham, but I don't really care. So, I'm going to go into Sylveon. And I'm going to play a little toxic game with this Arcanine. Unless he switches right into Mega Metacham. Which he does go for Flare Blitz. I can take that really well. Considering I am really, really defensive. Okay, I did not take that well at all. 
<sighs> Crap, my Sylveon is gonna go down right here. So I'm just gonna be that person and go for Protect. I really hope he doesn't switch out, because that way he would have predicted me, like, perfectly. Okay, so I am gonna Protect. And he's probably just gonna go for Will-O-Wisp. Exchange speed. All right, I see what he wants to do. All right, Sylveon's gonna, just gonna go down. That's too bad. Now I actually have nothing for the Porygon too. So I have to bank on a crit to kill it. I'm gonna go into Gardevoir. Cause it can't really do much to my Gardevoir. Can't safely go for Moonblast, so. I'm gonna trace the Intimidate, which is really nice. Intimidative Gardevoir, yep, that's perfectly legit. All right, so my Gardevoir is gonna go for a Psychic right here. I'm Choice Scarfed into Psychic now. I have to remember that. I'm kind of hoping he, for whatever reason, switches in Metacham, because it's gonna die if, it, if he does. Which, he's not gonna switch in Metacham, because his Arcanine is a defensive Arcanine, so. It's not like this is actually gonna happen. So let's see what he really wants to do here. He's gonna stay in, but what's he gonna go for? Extreme speed, flare blitz. He's gonna withdraw. He doesn't have Crawdon, so Psychic does a lot. He switches into his Porygon too, so this Psychic is gonna deal nearly nothing. Considering it. Oh, so he's gonna trace my Intimidate, which I don't care. Because I'm a physical attack. Not a physical attack, dude. I'm a special attacker. Uh, the Psychic does... Oh, that actually does a nice amount of damage. I'm gonna go for another Psychic. If this crits, he dies. Okay, so he does, it doesn't crit, but he goes for a Recover. I'm banking on a Spadef drop right here. Banking on that or a crit. Whichever one comes first. So I'm just gonna keep going for Psychic with Gardevoir. He goes for Protect. I don't see why it's Protect. I don't really see Protect being a big play on Porygon 2. I don't really see him switching out, so I'm just going to keep going for Psychic. This would be a different match if I actually took a picture of your team. So if I had taken a picture of his team, I probably could be ahead by now. So I'm just going to go for another Psychic. That doesn't do much at all. He's going to go for Tri-Attack. I eat that up pretty well, considering my special defense is really high and I actually have HP EVs. I'm running out of Psychic, which it really isn't very good. So I'm going to hurt up the Porygon 2 again. He's going to recover. I get the Spadef drop. That's what I've been waiting for. So there's the recover. Thankfully, I got the Spadef drop, so I can just shoot away a Psychic. I feel like he's going to protect right here, but I'm still going to go for Psychic. Uh, I got the Spadef drop. That's all I care about. So I'm going to hit him with Psychic. Deal even more damage than I did before. I get another Spadef drop. I apologize for these hacks. So he is going to recover again. I think this is the last special attacker I have. That's my problem here. Uh, yeah, it's my last special attacker I have. So I have to try to preserve Gardevoir a bit. So hopefully I can do that. He is going to withdraw, sadly. So my Spadef drops mean nothing now. He's going to switch back into his Arcanine. He's going to get the Intimidate off, which once again, I am a special attacker. I remember to say that right this time. He takes 25% from Stealth Rock. Now I'm going to hit him with Psychic again deal a lot more damage. His Arcanine goes down. That's very helpful. So he is going to switch into his Metacham for sure. I hate Metacham. I hate Mega Metacham so much. I think it dies to Stealth Rock. No, it doesn't. Forgot. Fighting type versus Stealth Rock. Uh, I just have to hope for the best, which I'm going to die anyways. So there goes my Gardevoir. Oh my god, I hate Mega Metacham so much. You don't even know how much I hate this thing, honestly. <clears throat> so I'm going to go into Mammoth Swine. The bullet punch is obvious, but I think I can take one? Maybe? Uh, I'm going to go for the Earthquake, I guess. Honestly, I want to go for the Earthquake. No, I'm going to go for Ice Shard. He's just gonna bullet punch either way and probably kill me. 
I lived, so the Mega Metacham goes down to the Ice Shard. Thank God, I hate fighting Mega Metachams. So, I have an almost dead Mamoswine on the field, and a Banded Staraptor left. If my Banded Staraptor can live through, I'd have to Brave Bird this thing, Oko it, which I might actually be able to do. I outspeed this thing, so I can go for Icicle Crash. She doesn't have priority either way, so I'm gonna go for the Icicle Crash. Get off a decent chunk of damage since I'm burned. <clears throat> Which, oh, that does a lot, dang. So he goes to the Brick Break. Now my Staraptor has a perfect setup right here. I can Brave Bird this thing, kill it, and then I have to bank on being able to Brave Bird the Porygon 2 and kill it. So I'm gonna send out my Choice Banded Staraptor. This thing is beastly powerful, so. I take a lot of stealth rock damage, so it's not a very good sight. So I'm gonna go for the Brave Bird. <clears throat> the Brave Bird will kill the Tangrowth, for sure. Because I am Choice Banded, Reckless Brave Bird. So Tangrowth goes down. Now, it, this all depends. If I kill the Porygon 2, I win. If I can kill the Porygon 2 with a Brave Bird and live through the Brave Bird, I win. So in come Porygon 2, I doubt I can kill it from this range with a Brave Bird, but miracles have happened to me before. He traces my Reckless, you know, that totally matters. So I'm going to go for the Choice Banded Reckless Brave Bird from my Star Raptor. He's going to protect. I don't really care. You're just stalling out. So let's see. This all depends to see if a Brave Bird kills. So let's see if Brave Bird kills Porygon 2 from this range with Choice Banded Reckless Brave Bird from a Star Raptor. It does kill, so the battle is mine. I won the battle. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Star Raptor, you're amazing. Oh my god, Star Raptor, I love you. That was a really close game. GG, Shiny Under 1001. That was an amazing battle. I will save that and actually rewatch that eventually. That was a really fun battle. I had a feeling that I was going to lose that. That was honestly not going in my favor. So I'm actually really surprised I won that. So yeah, I'll leave his channel link in the description. Leave any links to the music that I've used in the description. If you like this video, please leave a like rating if you want to see more. Subscribe to my channel and comment on anything I can get better on. I'm Winsight Scizor and I will see you guys later.